Today, we're going to learn about the causal chakra, also known as your moon portal. So this chakra, it's part of your transpersonal energy system, which just means it's outside of your physical body and it connects you to those really, really high dimensions. So activating this chakra, it's going to raise and broaden your level of consciousness. For the first time, it's going to invite that spiritual meaning into all of your old patterns, your old beliefs. So you're finally going to start to feel calm and clear in your body. I'm going to need this chakra on speed dial. I don't know about you guys. So in today's episode, we're going to learn about the causal chakra and we're going to start to activate it. Activate causal chakra. guys, but I'm so tired of repeating that same story over and over again in my head. It's like I'm stuck in that loop and I just can't get out of it. I just keep hitting like this imaginary glass ceiling. You know, I have this list of amazing things that I want to do or places I want to go. But then at the same time, I have a lot of excuses why I can't do those things or why I can't have those things. And when I do that, my energy becomes really dense. So the more I have those negative thoughts, my energy gets really dense, which means I get further and further and further and further away from the causal chakra, which makes it a lot harder for me to manifest my dream life. Straight up. So this is the energy center that receives messages and information from the stellar gateway and the soul star chakra. Then it distributes like a funnel, all this powerful energy to the rest of my chakras. It's kind of like a distribution center, but if your distribution center is closed, you're not going to get your packages. And you know, ladies, I like my packages. I've got a package. So, I must clear all those old beliefs and all those old programs, or I'm going to keep attracting the same old crap and it's going to be a lot harder to receive information from the universe. So now that I've exposed my nuttiness, like you didn't already know, let's get back to the causal chakra and how it can help us in our life. What and where is the causal chakra? The causal chakra is a glowing white center. It's like your personal moon and it connects you to divine feminine qualities of love, intuition, compassion, and it pulls all these energies down directly into your four bodies, which is your physical, emotional, spiritual, and mental bodies. So have you ever noticed that during a full moon, you may feel extra sensitive? Well, that's your causal chakra. It's being stimulated by the moon's power. I wrote some really cool worksheets on my website for you to download and use as a guideline during each phase of the moon. After this video though. The causal chakra, it's actually separate from your head. It's between the crown and the soul star chakra. So if you place the heel of your hand at the center of your crown with your fingers pointing towards your back, where your fingers lay, this is where your causal chakra is. But think of it as having an elongated skull. So it's actually separate from your head. I know, pretty sexy. Move your head. Look at the size of that boy's head. Now, the cool thing is that as you begin to bring more light into your body, the causal chakra actually unites with that vertical power column and it starts to draw down all this amazing energy into the physical head. It also sits at the back of your brain at the top of your spinal cord. So when this energy center starts to open up, it's actually going to create one of those beautiful lights around your head. And once that happens, the energy is going to travel all the way down into your thymus. And what's cool about that, your ascension process is going to start to happen. So you're going to become the transmitter and the receiver of high frequencies. You're going to start to feel one with the universe. You're going from that limited ego mind into that more unified state. You also may find that your psychic abilities and your telepathic abilities are going to skyrocket. You're going to be able to know who's calling you before they're even calling you. Before you can activate this chakra though, you have to clear away those old programs or old beliefs that are still holding you back. 
your pineal gland, your thymus, the pituitary gland, they all have to be energetically connected and working as well. So you can see this is getting pretty advanced over here. So how do you know if the causal chakra is blocked? Well, when this center is overloaded and out of balance, you're going to attract similar experiences and similar people into your life. You know, so when I find it hard to let go of old patterns of self-judgment or guilt or regret, I keep attracting more of that. And the same thing with when you're in a relationship. If I keep putting out that I want a particular person or my beliefs say that I'm worthy of a particular person, I'm going to keep attracting that into my life. So you can see why it's so important for us to look at those old beliefs and look at those old patterns because we keep attracting them to us. It's so frustrating. It's like that old saying, you know, if you don't change how you think, you're gonna keep attracting the same thing. I don't think that's exactly how that went, but it was close enough. So we need to learn to get off this crazy negative loop of a merry-go-round and let go of those old thoughts that no longer serve you. Think of how much harder it is when you're moving your hand through mud, right? You're like pushing and and you're it's all thick and gooey. Well, that's kind of like when you're stuck in your old programs and your old beliefs. Everything is so dense and heavy. But as you start to bring more of these higher frequencies, more of these higher lights into your body, it's like you're adding water, fresh, clean water. So we start washing away all that dense energy. Oh. And if you thought this wasn't enough, the causal chakra, it's also connected to your ancestral energy that has not been healed. So just when you thought your issues weren't enough, your ancestors left you yet another gift. So how do you connect to the causal chakra? Here are some tools and suggestions to get you started. Let's start with crystals. I know we all love our crystals. So you can try moonstone, selenite, arutilated quartz, clear quartz, but again, use what resonates with you. So with the transpersonal chakras, you can place the crystals on the floor above the head, or you can place it below your feet. So that way it'll help you to get that energy flowing up and down your spine. So here's how I might do a meditation. Place your attention on your breath. Okay, start breathing, taking a few breaths. And now we want the energy to build in your thymus. You know, you can imagine particles of light glowing all around and just expanding and getting this energy going. Now, as we have this energy building up, I want you to visualize the energy going up along the back of your head, hitting the causal chakra, and then it's gonna spin out in front of you. And as soon as it hits your thymus again, this is where your out breath happens. So now your out breath happens. Now what's interesting here is it goes along the front of your spine. You kind of feel like you want it to go along the back, but it goes along the front of your spine. It hits the root chakra and then loops again in front, coming back into the thymus. Again, now change your breathing. You're going into an in breath, going out the back, hitting the causal chakra at the back of the head, looping in front of you, coming back into the thymus. And just keep repeating this, visualizing the breath going down into the root, coming out in front of you, hitting the thymus, going out the back of the head, coming up over the top and reconnecting. So you're doing that infinity symbol and doing it with your breath. And again, anytime I get confused, I just think the breathing shifts when it reaches the thymus. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. We're getting you back to your light body. And these chakras we keep talking about, those are just doorways and each chakra has information and new information. So I know this was a lot of stuff I just gave you, but we're going to take our time and we're in this together. And I'm going to break all this down in other videos to kind of help you with this process. But I'm so proud of you guys and I love you so much and I'm so happy to be on this journey with you. Until next time, I'm Marisa Greco, your mystical guide.